I'm here to take you through summary writing. Summary writing is something very simple and something that you have heard about, something that your teachers have taught you in class. Okay, so when we are attempting a summary writing question, what we need to do is to put in mind that there are some guidelines that we follow. And these guidelines, I'm going to put them down as will be on the whiteboard. So guidelines to follow when attempting a summary question. So, first and foremost, we must read our summary passage very well. We must read it carefully. Read the passage carefully. Read the passage carefully at least twice. We must read our passage carefully at least twice. Now, when you read your passage the first time, the second time should be when you are noting the main points. Note down the main points. After noting down our main points in our passage, In the passage by underlining them underlining them and dear students you can normally do this underlining by using a pencil just to be able to refer to those points when we go to our rough copy and summary copy now, after that, we go to the next step, and that will be step three. After underlining our points in our passage, we shall go to step three, and that is when we look at the question. Look at the question. So we can have a question posed that in not more than 100 words, summarize the causes of road accidents. So that will be our question, okay, for that passage. So as we read our passage, we must be able to look at the question and understand what it requires. What is the passage talking about, okay? Now after that, we go to the title. How do we get our title? How do we get our title? How do we get our title? Of course, to get our title, we look at the question. We look at the question and where the word summarize stops is where we get our title from. For example, 
if the question says um, in about 100 words summarize the causes of road accidents that means that the word summarize where it stops is where our title starts so we shall say the causes of road accidents according to the passage that is if that part is there or we can say summarize the uh, effects of drinking alcohol so for example our title will be the effects of drinking alcohol so dear students always make sure you understand what the question is requiring you to do okay now after our title we write the title we write our title in capital letters we write our title in capital letters and we underline it and we underline it when you don't write your uh, your heading or your title in capital letters you will be penalized you will lose a mark and that is not what we want so after that step we go to step number five after the title what do you do so step number five write both the rough copy and the final copy okay write both the rough copy and the final copy sometimes students ask us that teacher why do we need both copies or for example if you are we go to a, an industry producing something they don't just come out with a final product they must have that product running through the some drink some people drink to enjoy the intoxicating effects of alcohol mm? some of it it makes someone's mind change a bit you you become happy if you were annoyed especially after a tiring day that is the one of the reasons why some people drink then number six young people watch movie and television stars drink so they want to follow suit they want to copy them okay Another reason, advertisements make liquor or alcohol seem a normal accompaniment. Something normal, something uh, that everyone should do in order to have fun. Of course, which is not the case. Then, to gain relief from difficult situations. Sometimes people face difficult situations, hard situations. And they think that resorting to drinking alcohol will save them from those problems, which is not the case, as we shall see, the effects. Okay, dear students. And then we go to the effects of drinking alcohol. As you underline your points in your passage, you have to differentiate. Is this an effect? Is this, uh, uh, is this an effect? Is it a reason? Okay. Then we shall go to the effects of drinking alcohol. Among our points, we have that drinking amounts of alcohol, sometimes they help to reduce feelings of restraint and relax nervous tensions. So dear ladies and gentlemen, that can be one of the effects. Then another effect is, as food, alcohol supplies extra calories in the diet. So that's why you see some people gaining a lot of wait when they drink alcohol because they are taking in very many calories okay in their bodies our indebted paragraph leave some space away from the margin if at all this is our margin leave space and then say with a capital letter start with a capital letter many people many people Drink alcohol. Many people drink alcohol
Because now we are bringing in the reason, the reasoning. Because they want to be social. Always make sure that even your rough copy, however much it is a rough copy, it is neat so that you don't get a problem when you go to the final copy. When you write a rough copy, your rough copy in a very sketchy way, you will get a very big problem when you go to the rough, to the final copy. So write your rough copy very neatly, okay? With grammatically correct sentences. Some people, we are still in our one paragraph. So some people drink alcohol. I can repeat it. Some people drink alcohol to that's another reason why people drink alcohol. They drink alcohol to enjoy the intoxicating to enjoy the intoxicating effects. So we shall not repeat the word alcohol because you already have it. That is another point, ladies and gentlemen. Then we continue and we write another reason. Young people, every time put a full stop, your next letter should be a capital letter. Young people, young people, see movie and television stars. See movie and television, the stars, the artists. This is a television on the TV movie and television stars movie and television stars drinking hence they see it Fun. They see drinking alcohol as fun. That is our passage says. What our passage says. Then we go to advertisement. Okay. Don't worry. All this work is going to be dis uh, displayed on the screen for you to see how we are coming up with these points and how they are put in a summary. So advertisements. Advertisements make liquor, liquor is alcohol. Advertisements, most of the advertisements you can see them on television, they are so interesting. They make alcohol look as if it is something normal that everyone should take, but remember. It is uh, put at the end of the advert that it should be taken by people above only the age of 18 years. Okay? So, advertisements make liquor seem... Make liquor... Make liquor seem... A normal... Accompaniment taking alcohol, then calories in the diet. We put a full stop. That is another point. Then prolonged. Talk about prolonged. Prolonged. Prolonged means that something is taken for a continuous period of time. It has been taken for a very long period of time. So we say prolonged. Drinking, prolonged drinking, we shall not repeat drinking of alcohol because we have it here as a subject. Prolonged drinking 
causes the liver causes the liver to become swollen to now ladies and gentlemen instead of breaking for example if you have this space left we don't uh, put the word there because it will not fit what we do we go and continue in the other space on the next line so we shall say to prolonged drinking uh, of alcohol or prolonged drinking causes the liver to become to become swollen and yellow with fat swollen and yellow with fat that is what happens to your liver when you take alcohol very uh, large quantities of alcohol so uh, with fat leading leading to a disease called psychosis leading to psychosis that is another point ladies and gentlemen you can see how we've displayed our points in very correct sentences okay so as you do your summary make sure you write complete meaningful sentences we go ahead alcohol after putting a full stop that's a punctuation alcohol causes neuro neuropathy hmm? neuropathy or delirium tremens tremens comma permanent brain damage permanent brain damage comma mental illness mental illness and affects and affects heart muscles heart muscles hence leading to death so dear viewers that is our summary writing and that is our rough copy clearly written in one paragraph with flowing complete sentences clearly punctuated now what comes to our mind after writing our summary as we've presented it there we we go to the final copy and remember we have a stated number of words our question says that uh, in about 120 words summarize the reasons and effects of drinking alcohol so in at, at the back of our minds what we must have that as we write we should not write very many words in about that means we can write words between uh, 120 to 125 okay at most so ladies and gentlemen let us go to our final copy but remember like i said in the guidelines count your words we also count the words in our rough copy and we indicate them at the bottom of the page at the bottom of our summary we indicate how many words we've used in our rough copy so when you count uh, when you go ahead and count those words you will get about 148 words okay 
148 words in our rough copy. So that means that we have how many words more? We get 148 minus 125, and then the remainder. That means those are the words we have to eliminate to make our final copy a good one, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, we go to our final copy. But before we go to our final copy, remember, as we write our sentences, avoid words. Hmm? Avoid these words. Hmm? Such as hmm? avoid these words such as abbreviations. Eh? Abbreviations. They are not allowed. Hmm? The aren't weren't hmm? hey please uh, try to avoid such then another thing try to avoid try to avoid try to avoid well, what writing words such as a lot hmm? we don't have this so a lot is correctly written as a lot there are two different words. So ladies and gentlemen, avoid coining of words. Instead of someone writing, instead of someone writing, no sooner. Instead of someone writing no sooner, this is the correct one. Someone writes no sooner. Hmm? This is wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have word in English. That is no sooner. Okay? So, as you're writing your sentences, always avoid such. Then if uh, a word is one, don't separate it. For example, everybody. Hmm? This is correct. Don't write every body. This space is not needed. So, ladies and gentlemen, in your brain or in your understanding, please do not write such words or else you will be penalized so we go to our final copy we go to our final copy and we write our title again in capital letters the reasons the reasons the reasons are effects of drinking alcohol the reasons and the effects of drinking Alcohol. Please correct this title on that work that will be displayed. It's supposed to be like this. Okay? Yes. Reasons and effects of drinking. Let your capital letters be capital. Okay? Let your capital letters be capital letters. For example, ladies and gentlemen, we have a difference between this s and then this s we call this a capital s and then this will be the small s so let your capital letters stand out to make it easy for the examiner when he or she is marking you so we go to our final copy with our title clearly written and then with our underlining okay we go to our indented paragraph and in our rough uh, copy, we had so many words. Remember, we used 148 words. This time around, how many words do we need? 120 words. At most, 125 words. So we have to go away and uh, eliminate some of 
the words that are not necessary. So in our final copy, we are going to do all that panel beating and then we shall produce a very fine product. So many people remember to leave space. Many people drink alcohol Many people drink alcohol to be social. Hmm? You can realize, ladies and gentlemen, that I've deleted some, some words. So I'm straight to the point, but I've kept my sentence very correct. Social and to relax. I'm using the conjunction. And to relax, they take alcohol to relax after so instead of writing at the end of a tiring day i've changed it to relax after a tiring day full stop so that will be our first point clearly written with no excess redundant words there all the words we have here are very important for example the passage says that many people so now why, when a candidate says people you just say people drink you will lose a mark there because it says many people so let us not forget those words that qualify our subjects they are put there for a reason like the passage the pa person who wrote the passage has a very uh, uh has a very uh, has a purpose why he or she put there the word many to qualify our subject to become many people not few people but many people so many people people is our subject drink alcohol to be social and relax after a tiring day we continue we go to businessmen now after our passage talking about many people among these people we have business men so this subject is also very important business men if you say business man you would have distorted the information in the passage and you'll be penalized so maintain what the passage says it talks about business men it talks about business men so we shall say business men drink we already have our subject as alcohol talked about there so we shall not repeat that word so we shall say businessmen drink to please their clients where you put the full stop is where you start with you start from in your next sentence don't leave space it should be a smooth running paragraph Clearly punctuated, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, this summary takes a lot of marks. So we want to give it time so that we can maximize all those 20 marks. Okay? And it is very advisable for, for students to always begin with the summary question. Okay? Then after writing a point to please their clients, we go to the next point. And uh, for this case... We shall not put a full stop because we want to make it a compound sentence. So we shall set businessmen drink to please their clients, comma. Teenagers. We talk about also teenagers. The passage talks about teenagers. Not only businessmen drink, but also teenagers. So we shall say. Teenagers and many adults. Teenagers and many adults drink to be acceptable. Drink, drink alcohol, but we are not repeating the word alcohol drink to to be accepted 
drink alcohol to be acceptable to be acceptable to be acceptable among their peers among their peers while we shall bring in the word while because we want to use few words but still maintain the meaning so we shall say while others while others you don't want this to look like a capital letter so i will make it a little bit more while others we're talking about other people while others enjoy the intoxicating enjoy the intoxicating effects while others enjoy the intoxicating effects of alcohol in doing this ladies and gentlemen we are removing all the unnecessary repetitions from our summary the rough copy because remember in the rough copy we put a lot of repetitions because we had the allowance of words but this time around we don't have extra words to use so we are going to use as very few words as possible but making sure that they are meaningful sentences okay so we continue intoxicating effects of alcohol full stop then another people another subject that was talked about were the young people so we shall say young people young people watch movie watch movie and television watch movie and television stars television stars drinking in advertisements drinking television stars drinking in I don't want to leave space here, so that's why I'm using up the space. In drinking, in drinking, television stars, drinking in advertisements, they see them drinking in advertisements. Thus, Thus, another person can say, hence, another person can say, therefore, or can say as a result. Mm -hmm. Thus, making liquor, making liquor, please note that, uh, or is note, the spellings of words. Very many times students misspell words, yet in the passage the words are correctly, very, uh, very correctly written. But when a student tries to, to, uh, to write the summary copy or final copy or rough copy, they tend to misspell those words. And ladies and gentlemen, for that purpose you will be, you will be penalized, you will lose marks. So always, as you transfer those words from the passage to your work, put in mind not to make mistakes, okay? Put in mind to avoid making mistakes because they cost you. They cost you and you lose marks. And remember what we want is to gain marks. So we don't want to take any chances. So always read through your work, even after you finish early enough before the end of the exam read through your work have some time to read through your work and make necessary changes where possible okay so making liquor and a student can write liquor 
omitting you and that well, for that matter you will be penalized and but of course sometimes you will lose the point you will lose the mark so make sure your words are correctly written as in the passage so advertisement thus making liquor thus making liquor seem seem and no more accompaniment Mm. Alcohol is seen as something very okay. And no more accompaniment of having fun. Full stop. Mm. We are writing our points in a chronological order as they are displayed in our passage. We started with the first point, second point, third point until the last point so ladies and gentlemen always maintain that chronological order as the uh, points are stated in the passage it is the way where well, it is the same way as, as you present them in your work don't disorganize points some students start with first point they jump to the third they jump to the fourth which is very wrong so i discourage you to do that or else you will lose marks Always put your points in the order as they appear in the passage. Mm -hmm. The examiner has a reason as to why they should follow that, as to why you should follow that order. Mm -hmm. Or the person who wrote the passage has a purpose as to why the points are displayed in that order. So dear students, do not change. Mm -hmm. Do not disorganize the order. Mm -hmm. Others have a tendency of just wanting to finish so early the exam so they mix up points and then they run away with the, without getting those points and the marks so dear students please let us maintain the order of our points as displayed so ladies and gentlemen uh -huh, alcohol seems uh, to seem a normal accompaniment of having fun full stop then uh, after that you continue and say other people Capital letters, ladies and gentlemen, capital letter starts a sentence. So other people, other people, so because of space, I will try to utilize that space. Other people drink, we shall not repeat the word alcohol, we already have it. Other people drink to escape. To escape facing difficult situations. To escape facing difficult situations. Avoid capital letters in the middle of sentences. Okay? So I'll wrap this off. And then we continue. Remember, we don't leave space here. We don't leave any space. So the next word will start from where the full stop is. Where I've put the full stop. So don't leave any space at the end. As it will mean that you have some words missing. That is what it implies. Yet you don't want to imply that to the examiner. Hmm? So we are saying other people drink to escape difficult situations, full stop. Then we switch to go to the other side. Remember, they asked for reasons and effects. When a candidate or when a student writes only one aspect, for example, you write only reasons, you will lose marks because the question requires you to handle, look at the two aspects, okay, the reasons and then the effects when you look at one and you disregard the other you would not have understood the question very well okay so always read the question and understand so because we have two aspects we are going to put our transition word after writing all our reasons as to why people drink alcohol we shall turn to the second part 
without skipping any line, without leaving any space, we shall start and say, however, remember that we are continuing. However, this notifies the examiner that the student has gone to the other side. Also, these skills help us, by the way, in our daily lives. Okay? When you're reading newspapers, you need to summarize. Mm -hmm. It may be a full page, but you need to summarize and get the main points. So, summary skills help us even after school. So, however, alcohol, we repeat our subject. We are still talking about alcohol. Mm -hmm. However, alcohol, however, alcohol, acts as acts as acts as an anesthetic an anesthetic which helps reduce shyness which helps to reduce shyness which helps to reduce shyness all right ladies and gentlemen we shall continue from there let's go for a break welcome back dear viewers we are still in our lesson about summary writing so we are still continuing we are still writing our final copy and we are continuing from where we stopped. So we stopped at this point where it said where we switched and went to the other side to present our effects. And we said, however, alcohol acts as an anesthetic which helps to reduce shyness. We put a comma. Shyness, comma. Relaxing nervous, relaxing nervous tension, nervous tensions. So we are picking one. Remember, in our rough copy, we had O, this, O, this. So we pick one so that we don't use so many words. So we've picked nervous. Tension. But for example, another student can say to reduce nervousness, still it is the same thing, but for us we take relaxing nervous tension, tensions, and as food, comma, alcohol as food, it adds, it adds extra calories calories in the diet because of its components it adds extra calories in the diet okay full stop we continue to say up to later remember our capital letter must look like a capital letter. And our full stop must look like a full stop. So, prolonged, prolonged drinking, of alcohol, there we can repeat, we can mention that, alcohol causes, Causes the liver causes the liver to become swollen to become to become swollen to become swollen comma yellow with now, when a candidate says 
to become yellow with fat. What have you done? That means you have left out the word swollen, which qualifies the swollen yellow liver. Okay, it is a swollen yellow liver. It is not just a yellow liver. So for that matter, you lose the mark because you've uh, you've left out a word which qualifies, which goes ahead to describe what happens to the liver of that person. So swollen, comma, yellow with fat becomes swollen, yellow with fat, leading to a disease called psychosis. Mm. Psychosis, you'll find out about that more about that. Psychosis, full stop. Let your full stops please be visible. Eh? Examiner should not be asking herself or himself whether it is a comma or it's a full stop. Punctuation, uh, punctuation marks, write them very well, clearly. So this is our full stop. Then we go to the second point, to the, to the last point. It causes, I am replacing alcohol with it to avoid repetition. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we bring in pronouns such as it, they, uh, she, he, so to avoid repetition hmm, of the same, same words. So we can switch it with alcohol and, and we say it causes it causes uh, my space is used up so I will go I will rub this off and go I will rub off this and go back causes but for us we are not expected to do that because we have very ample space we have ample space to write our summary so it causes neuropathy it causes, I can repeat the whole point, it causes it it causes sometimes uh, some people write uh, capital I without the buzz, eh? so let me write it like that avoid confusion it causes it causes neuropathy now in our passage it says it causes neuropathy or delirium eh? De delirium sorry it causes neuropathy or delirium so for example for that part for us we shall take one so another student can say it causes delirium it will be the same thing because but for us because we want to utilize and minimize use of your words so we shall pick one and say it causes neuropathy comma permanent permanent brain damage permanent brain damage Okay. Coma. Mental illness. These are all effects. Mental illness and also and also affects the affects the heart muscles leading to death so ladies and gentlemen full stop that marks the end of our rough uh, final copy very clearly well put make sure it is written in a very good handwriting your best because some of our handwritings can be unreadable. So to make the work of the examiner very easy, make sure your handwriting is very neat. It is very okay. It is readable. Okay? It is legible. Okay, so that marks the end of our final copy. 
And what do we do? We count word a word. We don't want to assume that the examiner already knows. And ladies and gentlemen, when you cheat, for example, some of the students cheat, instead of writing the exact number of words they have used, they cheat and lie. Hmm? They write words that are not even there. For example, someone has 150 words. And now on, upon indicating, the person puts 120 words. But is that fair? No, it wouldn't be, both on your side and the examiner's side. Because we, the, the examiner literally counts all the words, one by one. And it is what we are going to do to make sure that we have not exceeded the stated number of words. And then afterwards, we shall indicate, we shall indicate our number of words used in brackets down here. You go to the second, to the next line, clearly write. So we shall put our number of words here, words used, okay? And then uh, I will take you through how we get those marks, the sparks. Eh? But after writing all your points very well, then we shall go to counting of words. So ladies and gentlemen, when you count those words that have been written in our final copy, you will find that they exactly 124 words. And remember we said we can give an allowance of plus five because they have said in in about hmm, in about 120 words hmm? you can plus five is okay but for us we have got 124 which is below which is within the number so 120 to 125 hmm? we are within this bracket so it is okay okay don't write more don't write more than 125 we can see another person writing less words for example, they say not more than 120 words. A student can come up with 90 words. Now, what happens in that case? That means you've left out very many important points. So, usually, you should be near. Hmm? Make sure you don't leave out any point or you will lose marks. So, you should be near. If they say in 100 words, not more than 100, at least 98, hmm? but not 70. Okay? Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, always put that at the back of your mind. Don't write very many and don't write very few. Okay? So, we shall go and count our words. When you go ahead and count word per word, but without, uh, without counting the punctuation marks, you will come up with 124 words, ladies and gentlemen, which is within our stated words. Uh, instructed words so it is very okay so after counting our words I want to talk about how these marks are awarded how does someone get out 20 out of 20 hmm? you scoop all the marks hmm? we said that with all the sentences written properly clearly grammatically correct English then you can scoop those marks. And we said with our title presented in capital letters and with our indebted paragraph running smoothly, you can get those marks. With our compound sentences written very well, clearly punctuated, you can get all the marks. Okay? And then we said that we don't coin words. Hmm? Don't write a lot. Hmm? A lot. We should be very keen and careful not to make such mistakes that will lead us to lose marks. So ladies and gentlemen, with summary, it is very simple. It is very simple because it is one question that they give you the answers and you just need to reorganize them and come up with, with something that will earn you marks. So ladies and gentlemen, never fear summary. Never fear that question. 
it is actually the most enjoyable one. Hmm? You earn your marks as you see where you are getting them from. Hmm? You can know. You can know those statements which are sketchy. Don't write sketchy statements. Write your full sentences. Punctuate them. Hmm? Don't exceed the number of words exit, uh, stated. Hmm? Write both your copies. Then at the end of the day, you will scoop all the marks that you need. Okay? So, always start with that summary question. Hmm? Don't start with the rewrites, the other parts of the grammar. Start with the summary question because you are still fresh. Hmm? Because you are still, your brain is still fresh, it can comprehend the passage and come up with a very good summary. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I told you that my number is on the screen. So, in case of any comments, feedback about this lesson, you can reach me on that number either uh, via WhatsApp or calling. But summary should not make us fail. Hmm? We should scoop all those marks. Hmm? We should write our sentences well. We should not make spelling mistakes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we should do not do make these mistakes because at the end of the day, they will make us fail. Hmm? Twenty marks is really a lot to get away without get, uh, getting them. So let us maximize. Let us see that we attempt the summary question and move out of the exam feeling proud and happy that we have made it, that we have passed English language. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, these summary skills do not only help us in class, but even after class, they help us, okay? If you want to be a journalist, they can help you to edit. You edit and keep, pick only the main points that you present to your viewers. So summer writing is a life skill, ladies and gentlemen. So give it the attention that it needs. It is a life skill. It keeps on happening and happening in our daily lives where we have to summarize, where we have to apply those skills. Hmm? So uh, with all that, you can scoop all those marks. Hmm? Then another thing that uh, I, I talked about, I think I talked about at the beginning of our lesson, always let your work be neat. Let your work be neat. Let your work be organized. Let your work run smoothly. It should be one complete running paragraph. Students have a tendency of skipping lines. That is dangerous because it will be an essay which is uh, disorganized. Okay? So don't skip lines. Don't skip lines. Let your work be neat. Follow. And sometimes uh, some of the students ask the teacher, getting those words sometimes is hard to put up a complete correct senders but you can organize you organize those points make sure your point has a subject it is talking about a certain thing okay so make sure your points have a subject hmm? don't skip lines in your work hmm? don't skip your uh, line after the title we don't need that space there after the title immediately go to the indented paragraph leave space, leave space. go to the indented paragraph hmm? don't give it an allowance don't lose marks hmm? don't give the examiner any chance to mark you wrong hmm? so ladies and gentlemen remember the subject every passage has a subject what talks about hmm? It has what it talks about. So as a um, finalizing, hmm, let us always remember these small, small guidelines. And then summary can really be a walkover for us. Okay? So our viewers, uh, like I said, for any comments about the lesson, please kindly reach me on that number. Hmm? 
count the words and indicate the exact number there mm? as I've done it. If you don't put this number of words there, you will not have led the examiner well. You will have misled him or her and therefore you may lose marks because they don't know how many words you've written. Mm? So the gauge of number of words help us to know whether a student is on point. Okay? You write very few words, you've left out points. You write very many, that means you've written very extra, so many extra points that are not needed. Then another important thing, some students have a tendency of carrying, as the, the point is displayed in the passage, they carry it into, to fit into the final copy or rough copy. That is dangerous. You need to edit. Hmm? We don't write quotations of writers. For example, in a passage, a writer can quote. For example, from this book and this, the, the, so we don't quote. We don't write those quotations because we are utilizing the number of words given to us. We don't write quotations. We don't write um, hearsays in the passage. For example, a writer in the passage may be talking about hearsays. I heard this, I, I saw this, we don't need to write those. Just pick out the main points. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, indebted paragraph, like I said, it is very important. One running paragraph. Don't create so many paragraphs. Hmm? Okay, it will be an essay which is very disorganized. Hmm? And... Uh, Another thing that I wanted to talk about still about summary, sometimes some students uh, misquote, or uh, how can I say, uh, some students mix up points. They don't put the points in order. Mm -hmm. I already said that. So dear students, always put your points in the order that they appear in the passage. Don't mix them up. Don't start with the last point as your first point. Okay? Let us always read carefully. I told you the passages are very easy. So at least read twice. Read it twice carefully and understand it. Hmm? Underline those answers, the main points, what you think the main points are in your passage. It will be very easy for you to pick them when comes to time to need them in the writing of the rough copy and the final copy. You can use a pencil to underline those points. So ladies and gentlemen, summary should not be a question that you fail because it is very easy. Then uh, uh, some students have a tendency of miswriting uh, words. For example, I think as a way of hurry, Instead of writing alcohol, like this, they will write like this. So ladies and gentlemen, this one doesn't exist. It is spelled, uh, misspelled and it is wrong. Hmm? And a student will carry on writing the same, uh, misspelling this word and it will appear in all his or her work. By doing that, ladies and gentlemen, you will be losing max. So let us be orderly. Let us always be keen as we write these words. Hmm? Don't break words. I also talked about that. Don't break words. If a sentence cannot continue up to the side, don't say, for example, dash, 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 dash. Then you say break. Students have a tendency to say break, then they put a hyphen and then they finish it from here break this is wrong hmm? okay ladies and gentlemen if you need to if the, the space is not enough just go on the second line and write your word break hmm? not not break and then you leave space and then you say break this is very wrong so ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, 
all about summary writing. Do not confuse uh, those statements. Do not confuse your points and then you misquote them. You carry your points from the passage. So with all having all these guidelines at the back of your mind, summary can be the easiest thing that you can do. Can be the easiest thing or easiest question that you can attempt.